Good day everyone, I'm Angela Therese and today we'll be talking about dual membrane, lessening electricity consumption and cost in water refilling businesses. Now before we start, we need to define terms in order to fully understand our topic for today. So first, what is water? Water is one of our basic needs as a human being and we need to take it daily for our sustenance. It has given a lot of benefits including body detoxification, digestion improvement, energy boost, and skin hydration. Because we need it every day, the market demand for water increases and that increase needs to be met. Hence, the existence of water refilling businesses. Now, water refilling businesses requires a lot of equipment, tools, and energy sources including water and electricity on the side note with our today's condition our energy resources are slowly depleting and in order to fulfill our duties as a human being we need to contribute for its conservation and preservation in order to live by the process of a sustainable development world in relation it is suggested that water refilling business owners use sustainable equipment and tools for the business to function because we need to uplift the wellness of our environment. Now, one of the parts of a water refilling business to function is called the reverse osmosis membrane. The reverse osmosis membrane is considered as the heart of water process and operations in the water business because it concentrates purifies and fractions raw water into water product now in this reverse osmosis process it removes unwanted bacteria minerals and viruses in the water product which requires a heavy amount of electrical energy time production and water resource it has two variations called single membrane and dual membrane now in order to know which one is more sustainable to use we need to compare the two focusing on the dual membrane it has a two-part process so for instance we have a 100% raw water this raw water goes through the first part of its process so it separates 50 to 60 percent reject water and produces 30 to 40 percent water product now this reject water is further reused and filtrated into a second part of the process which leaves roughly about 10 to 20 percent of reject water already now with that we are maximizing the use of the raw water and it produces a high amount of water product so here we are conserving water we're also lessening its time production with that we are lowering also our electricity consumption and cost with that unique features of the dual membrane, it is much ex it's more expensive in the market. So comparing it to the single membrane, the single membrane is much cheaper. However, it only has a one-part process, which is similar to the dual, me dual membrane's first-part process only. So with that, we are not con maximizing the use of the raw water since it produces 50-60% to 60 reject water. So we also are lengthening the time production since it produces only 30 to 40 percent water product in its first process. So here we are also using high amount of electricity and it increases its cost. So in conclusion, dual membrane is more sustainable to use because it conserves energy resources, specifically electrical energy and water and promotes the wellness of our environment hence it is suggested that water business owners invest in using dual membrane in its business to promote sustainable development so here are the references of our topic today thank you and have a great day